My lords, it's a pleasure to follow the noble lords' greed. I see no rational whatsoever in the UK attacking the Assad regime on the grounds that chemical weapons may have been used. We're all horrified by TV pictures of the suffering of innocent civilians in the civil war between different religious factions. But to those on the receiving end would probably say that innocent men, women and children being killed or maimed by the use of chemical weapons is no worse than being killed or maimed or wounded by or having limbs of those near and dear to you blown off by more conventional Absolutely. means of mass killing. The use of even more weaponry, however tactical, will simply increase that suffering. I understand President Obama's wish to be seen as a strong and decisive world leader with his talk of red lines that must not be crossed. But the strength of a world leader should not be measured solely by a flexing of military muscle. There is even greater strength in looking to and promoting solutions to underlying religious conflict both in Syria and in surrounding countries and importantly in working to make, make the UN truly effective. The USA is doing its image immense harm by constantly seeking to bypass the UN and act as a world policeman. It has no moral authority to do so. It's the only country in the world to have used atomic weapons. It has used chemical weapons, a chemical weapon, Agent Orange, to devastate imp and impoverish vast areas of Vietnam that also led to hideous deformities in the unborn, a use that we've heard today that is prohibited by 19, the 1925 Geneva Convention. It has used napalm and cluster bombs. Today it uses drones to invade the sover sovereign territory of other countries to kill, maim and destroy those it does not like. <coughs> My Lord, such behaviour does not go unnoticed in the Middle East and in the rest of the world. It is wrong to pretend that it has a moral right to lecture the rest of the world on ethical values. I understand our historic special relationship with the USA, but a good friend should act to deter such behaviour. We know that President Assad is a cruel dictator, but he is not mad. It is difficult to believe that he would deliberately try to provoke America to go to war against him. It gets even murkier if we look at Saudi Arabia, America's Sunni ally in the Middle East. It was, uh, it was a Saudi-owned newspaper, Al Arabiya, that first broke the story of the supposed chemical attack. That, and it is the, um, it is the Saudi government that, with the United States approval, has been supplying arms to the rebel groups. The use of chemical weapons can only strengthen the hands of the Sunni faction, both inside and outside Syria. These include Al Qaeda and other terrorist groups. It is not in the West's interest to strengthen their hand. It is for these reasons that I oppose military action. Yeah.